Okay, so we're back in the games factory, and this time um, we're just going to be a very short lesson, hopefully, but very important. We're going to do something called scrolling, and scrolling is when the camera or the the map sort of follows where the player is, because most games aren't just going to be on one screen. You want to be exploring this whole area. So at the moment, that's uh, not been set up right. And to do scrolling, we have to go to the event editor, and this might be a little bit complicated but if you just follow it step by step it shouldn't be too bad uh, first of all I'm just going to scroll across so we can see all our icons we're going to be using two areas special conditions and storyboard controls so let's right click here to add a new item new event and first of all we're going to go to special I'm going to right click and there's all sorts of complicated looking stuff here you can ignore all this really. The only one we're interested in is the always command. So we've created an event, always. Now always what? The scrolling and all the stuff related to the screen is under storyboard controls which for some reason has a little chess piece, at least I think that's what it is. Um, so we want to click down here with the right mouse button and here's where you'd control things like I don't know if the player goes into a door he would go to the next frame or if the player gets killed that we could end the game what we're looking at though is the scrolling which is down here so we want to always scroll the window position and we want to send we want to center it around the player so i'm going to click on that one center window position in frame and it says who do you want to center it on now we want to center it on the player so we click on the player and you see there's this little X as well, if I just move that around. So we want to probably put it at the center of the player. And click OK. So we're back in the event editor. So what you should have is always center the display on the player. Now if that has worked, we're going to play the game now. We're going to click Run Application. Now let's see if this has actually worked. So I'm going to move. Yeah, and you can see the playing field is now following the player. I've got my obstacles. I'm going to walk around. And that is much more like what you would expect in a game. So we're done. Or at least we're done with scrolling. The next thing we need to do is to make this, because this is a little bit easy at the moment, next time we're going to be looking at adding enemies.